Next comes our, our category for interference. Several different types of interference. The ones that we will be able to categorize and evaluate using Wi-Fi Explorer are going to be uh, co-channel interference and maybe a little bit of ACI, which is adjacent channel interference. Here's an example. All, all the rest of those we would have to use a more uh, detailed application known as a spectrum analyzer. Here's an example of a spectrum analyzer which shows the actual raw data, uh, the actual raw energy readings from the air. And these take a little bit of practice, a little bit of experience, because it's really about pattern matching. And you have to know, you have to learn what the patterns are, the ones that you expect to have, and almost as important, the ones you don't expect to have. So be, to be able to use a spectrum analyzer, I think that's maybe a little bit above this, this course here, but we've got another one called Basics of Spectrum Analysis, if you're interested in that one. OK, and that brings us to our baseline best practices for enterprise. And these are the steps that we're going to use to compare using Wi-Fi Explorer in our case study to determine whether or not we've matched these best practices. I'll go through real quickly. The first thing is that with Wi-Fi, the prime directive is to avoid collisions. Wi-Fi or 802.11 wireless LANs are known as carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance mechanisms built in. We have to try to avoid the collisions because uh, collisions cause the, the worst performance in a Wi-Fi network. Collisions are common. Collisions can't be gotten rid of completely. We're al always going to have some amount of collisions. Our task is to try to keep the collisions down to the lowest level possible. And that only comes through forethought and pre-design efforts. OK, so quickly, 10 best practices. Again, there are many, many, many more. But these are the 10 that will make the biggest difference in your Wi-Fi network. Check these first, and you can do this using uh, an inexpensive tool like Insider or Wi-Fi Explorer. Match these best practices to your network and determine where, where they lie. If these are all in place and you still have poor performance, then maybe it's time to update the hardware. But if these are not in place, updating the hardware is probably not going to give you the results you're hoping for. So we're going to go through these one at a time. We're going to show you how we would look for that particular incident using Wi-Fi Explorer and what to do from that. OK, so next part of the presentation will be to take these 10 baseline best practices, match them against our case study, and use this inexpensive uh, discovery application to determine whether or not this particular school has followed through and has correctly uh, whether or not they're compliant with these baseline best practices. So again, we sent a WITS engineer out to this location, and we asked them to take four stationary samples in some, some pretty high traffic areas to give us a good, good understanding of what's going on. And by this, I mean using Wi-Fi Explorer, it's not like a site survey application where you have to walk around each and every one of the rooms. Using this or Insider, you'll go to a certain location, kind of set the the, uh, uh, the laptop down in a certain place and then let it capture some detail for, you know, five, ten minutes, something on that order. It's best to do it during production hours. It's, it's not best to do it at the highest production or the lowest production. You kind of want to test a medium range in there. Uh, unless you're looking for a specific issue, a uh, troubleshooting issue that happens when everybody clusters together or something on that order. But this is pretty generic. Anybody can do this. Just pick some good locations and take that data. And then once you've captured the data, this is what you're going to be looking at. So this is Wi-Fi Explorer. As you can see, it's a little busy. It's a little bit, um, if you've never seen it before, you just kind of glaze over and say, well, what in the world am I looking at here? What's all this stuff down here on the bottom and all these numbers? And that's what we want to do here. We want to focus in on the parts of this display that give you the information you need so that you know where to look to find a specific issue, OK? Now, before you can do that, in order for it to match this presentation, 
when you get Wi-Fi Explorer or any other utility, if you'll just set up some basic information, some displays, uh, like for instance these columns up here, to match what I've got here, then you'll be able to get exactly the same information and the same um, uh, uh, recommendations and for your network. So the way in Wi-Fi Explorer that you uh, set these columns up is you just right click up here anywhere along that top line, the column headings, and when you do that, uh, you'll get a list of additional columns. You can just click them to add them into the list, and these are the ones that, that I've got enabled. So you can just pause the recording here if you want, and then um, either write these down or go set up your, your uh, discovery tool to match these settings. Once you've done that, now we can begin to focus in on the parts of this display that are going to give you the most information. Now the first thing that you should do probably, if you don't already know this information, is to determine what SSIDs you're using in your facility. Which ones are yours? And in order to do that, you can look under the network name column of Wi-Fi Explorer. Wi-Fi Explorer says network name when it means SSID, and that's fine as long as you know that. And we can see here by looking over here that we have, uh, in this situation, we have six SSIDs. They are hidden network, guest, mobile, student, student two, and teacher are the SSIDs in use at this location. So we'll just need to mark that for further use. And this will be the format going forward. We kind of gray out the stuff that's not of importance at this time and try to highlight and zoom in onto the areas of this that, that will give you the information you need.